we're going to be looking at graphs of motion. For a displacement time graph, the displacement is along the y axis and time is along the x axis. And the gradient for a displacement time graph represents the velocity. So for this first graph, where we have a horizontal line for the displacement, the displacement hasn't changed. And you can see the gradient of a horizontal line is zero. So that's telling us the velocity is zero. So this is representing stationary. For a straight line that is diagonal, because it's a straight line, the gradient is constant. So that means velocity is constant. For this case, we can see that the gradient is increasing. It's getting steeper as time increases. So as time increases, the gradient is increasing. Then that means the velocity is increasing. So we're getting an acceleration. And for this final graph, we look at the gradient, the steepness. It's getting less steep. So the gradient is decreasing as time is increasing. So if the gradient is decreasing, velocity is decreasing. So we're getting a deceleration. For an object moving at a uniform velocity, we to plot the displacement time graph. You can see that the change in displacement each second is the same. For an object that is accelerating, we to plot its displacement time graph. You can see that each second the change in displacement is increasing. And for an object that is decelerating, its displacement time graph will show that each second the change in displacement is decreasing. For this graph, if we needed to obtain the instantaneous velocity at six seconds, we will need to obtain the gradient of the curve at that time. So we will need to take a tangent and then work out the gradient of the tangent. And the gradient is the change in y. So y2 minus y1 divided by the change in x, so x2 minus x1. So a change in y is from 3 to 0 0.5, and our change in x is 10 minus 4. And that gives instantaneous velocity of 0.083 meters per second. However, if we need to obtain the average velocity for the first six seconds, we will use the change in displacement divided by the time. So in the first six seconds, the change in displacement is 1.3. So that gives you an average velocity of 0.217 meters per second. If we now consider velocity time graph, where velocity is along the y-axis and time is along the x-axis, and the gradient of a velocity time graph represents the acceleration. For this graph, we can see that the velocity is zero. So the object is stationary. 
For this graph, the velocity is constant. And by the gradient, we can see for a horizontal line, it's zero. So that means zero acceleration. For this line, you can see the gradient is constant. So that means the acceleration is constant. So the velocity is increasing at a uniform rate. For this case, you can see the gradient is constant, but it's also negative. So we've got a negative but constant gradient, which implies a negative acceleration, which is constant, and a negative acceleration is a deceleration. So this is representing a constant deceleration. So the velocity is decreasing at a constant rate. For this graph, we can see that the gradient is again negative. So we've got a deceleration. Velocity is decreasing. But we can also see that the gradient is increasing as time is increasing. So a negative but increasing gradient implies an increasing deceleration. Which means the velocity is decreasing at a faster rate. For this graph, again, the gradient is negative. Velocity is decreasing, we're getting a deceleration. But we can also see though that the gradient is decreasing as time increases. So we've got a negative but decreasing gradient. So that means we have a decreasing deceleration. For this graph, the gradient is positive. But as time increases, the gradient is increasing. So we have an increasing positive gradient, which is an increasing acceleration. For this final graph, we can see the gradient is positive. But as time increases, the gradient is decreasing. So we're having a decreasing positive gradient, which is a decreasing acceleration. And it's important to note that decreasing acceleration is not a deceleration. Deceleration is a negative acceleration. The velocity is decreasing. But a decreasing acceleration is the velocity is still increasing but at a slower rate. So a uniform acceleration is representing the rate of change velocity is the same. So that means each second you have the same change in velocity. For an increasing acceleration, the rate of change in velocity is increasing. So each second, the change in velocity is increasing. And for decreasing acceleration, the rate of change in velocity is decreasing. So that is each second the change in velocity is decreasing. And the area under a velocity time graph represents the displacement. So in order to determine displacement for this object, for 
the first 12 seconds, we need to get the area under the graph. So we first determine the area of the triangle, which is a half times the base, which is 6 seconds, multiplied by the height, which is 3 metres per second, which gives us 9 metres. That has been travelled in the first 6 seconds. And then we work out the area of this rectangle, which is our 3 metres per second times by 6 seconds, which gives a displacement of 18 metres. So the total displacement will be the 9 metres plus the 18 metres which would be 27 metres.